Hello, and thank you for taking the time to learn about calcium oxalate kidney stones and what you can do to prevent them. If you have kidney stones made from calcium oxalate, then cutting back on high oxalate foods may help prevent kidney stones. Oxalate is found in many foods. This video will help you avoid foods high in oxalate and help you eat foods low in oxalate. Let's begin with, what is oxalate? Oxalate is an organic compound found in many plants. It is also produced by the body. It can attach to calcium in the urine and form calcium oxalate crystals. These crystals can grow into calcium oxalate kidney stones. The oxalate that is in the urine comes from three main sources. Diet, vitamin C breakdown, and the body produces oxalate as part of its normal metabolism. Oxalate in the diet comes mainly from plant sources. The oxalate that we eat is either absorbed into the body or lost in stool. The oxalate that is absorbed into the body will eventually come out in the urine. What can you do to reduce the amount of oxalate that your body absorbs? Eat dairy products with meals. Calcium in dairy products will attach to oxalate in food. This stops your body from absorbing the oxalate. Have one serving of dairy with each meal, such as one cup, eight ounces, or 250 milliliters of milk, three quarter cup, six ounces, or 175 grams of plain yogurt, 50 grams or 1.5 ounces, approximately one inch cube of low salt cheese, and if you cannot consume dairy, then you can have soy milk or rice beverage. If you are lactose intolerant, you can have lactose-free milk, sheep milk, or goat milk, as these are lower in lactose. Cook your food to help lower the oxalate content. Boil, steam, bake, or saute your plant-based foods. This may help reduce the oxalate. Avoid taking large doses of vitamin C. Take no more than 1,000 milligrams each day and avoid excess dose in a multivitamin. Lastly, try to eat a low oxalate diet. If your doctor or dietitian recommends a low oxalate diet, you can ask them for a resource with lists of foods to follow. Please review the lists of foods in the next tables in this video. We have grouped foods into three categories. Foods with a low oxalate content, we call these good choices. Foods with a moderate amount, we provide a suggested daily limit. Foods that are high in oxalate, we recommend reducing or avoiding these foods as much as possible. For low oxalate fruits, these include apples, apricots, banana, blackberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, cranberries, cherries, grapes, honeydew melon, lemons, limes, mango, nectarine, papaya, peaches, pears, pineapple, plantain, plums, raisins, strawberries, and watermelons. For vegetables, good choices include alfalfa sprouts, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, fresh celery, chives, corn, cucumber, endives, green pepper, lettuce, kale, mushrooms, mustard greens, onions, peas, radish, romaine lettuce, sauerkraut, sea vegetables, yellow squash, and zucchini. For potato products, aim to eat these in moderation of about one third a cup daily of mashed potatoes, potato salad, and sweet potatoes. For legumes, eat in moderation up to half a cup a daily, ideally with a dairy product. Your options are black-eyed peas, 
garbanzo beans or chickpeas, green split peas, lentils, lima beans, mung beans, and yellow split peas. For nut seeds and spreads, good choices include apple butter and flaxseed. For breads, snacks, and crackers, good choices include bran muffin, cornbread, cracked wheat bread, popcorn, oat bran bread, oatmeal bread, saltines, triscuits, white bread, wheat crackers, whole oat bread, and whole wheat bread. For pastas, rice, and grains, choose barley, corn bran, corn flour, oat bran, white or parboiled rice, and white pasta. For cereals, you can choose Cheerios, Corn Pops, Corn Flakes, Crispix, Honey Bunches of Oats, Oatmeal, Puffed Rice, Puffed Wheat, Rice Chex, and Weetabix. For beverages, good choices include apple juice, coffee, cow's milk, grape juice, herbal tea, lemon juice, mango juice, orange juice, rice beverage, soy beverage, and water. If you have a question about your certain food on this list that we haven't covered, please talk to your doctor or dietitian and they will be able to help you figure out whether that food is a good choice, a food that you should have in moderation, or a food that you should limit or avoid. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what was discussed in this video, please contact us or check out our website for more information.